Welcome to Basket of Tales, a time travel into the world of stories. A warm hello from Basket of Tales and Morning Raga. We are delighted to present this wonderful series of short stories in collaboration with Morning Raga, Telugu Radio 101.3 FM, a Canadian multicultural radio. Hi, this is Miss S, and today I would like to share a wonderful story about gratitude and gratefulness. The story is called The Seven Wonders. Let's begin. In a small village, there lived a little girl named Olivia. She was nine year old, and she had just finished her fourth grade exams. However, for her fifth grade, she had to move to another village. She was a bit nervous about her new school and making new friends. But at the same time, she was happy that the school had a very good reputation and she was one of the lucky few who got selected. It was the first day of school. Olivia was excited about taking the bus. As it was her first time going to school in a school bus. She got into the bus and was very happy to see other kids around talking and giggling. The bus finally reached the school and everyone got down and started walking towards the classroom. Since Olivia was new, she did not know which direction to go. She asked few kids around the corner who were staring at her. Olivia was from a small village. Her dressing was a lot different from others. She was simple but soft-spoken. Kids were making fun of her dressing and style in the classroom. The teacher noticed and asked everyone to keep quiet. She then introduced Olivia to the entire class. She said, let's all welcome Olivia. She is a very smart and a nice girl. She is new to the town and also to the school. So please make her feel comfortable. Few days passed and Olivia started to like the school. One day the teacher announced a surprise test to the class. The topic was seven wonders of the world as part of their social studies lesson. All the kids quickly grabbed a paper and a pen and started writing. On the other hand, Olivia took some time. She had no idea of what was taught in the previous class. All the kids started submitting the answers except for Olivia. The teacher who noticed her said, Don't worry, just write what you know. I know other students have learned this in their previous grades. Olivia quietly replied, Well, I have many things in mind. I am thinking which seven shall I pick? The teacher was a bit surprised with her answer. She gave her some extra time to write. After lunch, the teacher started checking everyone's answer sheets and wanted to read them aloud. She said, Well done everyone. I am happy that you all remembered what was taught to you. For centuries, human civilizations across the world have built and created cities, buildings, tombs, temples, churches and other structures that continue to inspire us. Taj Mahal, Great Wall of China, Colosseum, the Pyramid of Giza are few of them. You all did an amazing work. Finally, she picked Olivia's answer sheet and started reading. The seven wonders are to be able to see, to be able to read, to be able to feel, to laugh, to think, to be kind and to love. Olivia's answer took the teacher and the entire class to a surprise. They were all speechless. 
Today, an innocent girl from a small town reminded them about precious gifts that God has given us, which are the real wonders of the world. Everyone applauded and they realized that there is nothing more precious than the gift of God. So the moral of the story, life is all about precious gifts we have. The simple things are also the most extraordinary things and only the wise can see them. So take a step back, look at all those beautiful things you have. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you like the story. See you all soon. Thank you.